Check one, two. Check one, two. That's your boy Devontae from Devontae Paradise. And thank God the volume is down. <laughs> oh, I was playing the song. That would have been a copyright. Holy shit. Okay, so uh, this is Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. Um, this is my second take on a Juicy J brief intro. Uh, the first one was just a black screen. I forgot to do the screen capture. Matter of fact, let me double check. Yes, that's right. Okay. So we got your boy Juicy J of 3-6 Mafia, another legend. See, the legends come first, then the newbies come later. You know, um, these, these are the legends. These are people that are important to know about, to know more about, to actually listen to their music, to get a grasp on their music. Um, Juicy J comes from 3-6 Mafia, 3-6 Mafia fame. 3-6 <clears throat> Mafia has been around since the 90s. And they had this song, um, I think it's Hard Out Here for a Pimp. And they won a Grammy for that shit. Everybody was shocked. Everybody was shocked. And it was about in the mid-2000s from the song or from the movie Hustle and Flow. And it's ironic, Juicy J calls his album Hustle Till I Die. So this is his first album after going solo. I think that's everything I covered on the first video. So let's get into it. We got V Slash, Gucci Man, Project Pat, V Slash. Webby, Gorilla Zo. Wasn't there a Gucci Man feature on here? Oh yeah, Gucci Man. And by the way, um, I know it sounds like I'm a rookie, but I don't want to go deeper into these artists, the other artists that they're collaborating with and how everything went until I do the, the mini documentaries. And Juicy J, to me, he he does an album every four years, kind of like Raekwon. So next we got Stay Trippy. At this point, Juicy J is with is rocking with uh, Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa is helping out with the beats. He's not under Wiz Khalifa, but it, Wiz Khalifa is just helping him out. So Stay Trippy, this is the album everybody knows about. Let's go over the features. Oh, and by the way, I don't think the first album really has features, but on my mini documentaries, I will be going over, making sure I have all the info. So we got, let's go over the features. We got Pimp C, Project Pat, Wale, Trey Songz, Yellow Wolf, Wiz Khalifa, Big Sean, Jeezy, Justin Timberlake, Timbaland, Chris Brown, 2 Chainz, Lil Wayne, ASAP Rocky, Wiz Khalifa, Trina, Two Chains in the Weekend. Now the singles are Bounce It, Show Out, Make Her Dance, and One of Those Nights. Er, there's a few people that know about scholarship too. So now we got Rubber Band Business. Now this album's originally 13 tracks. I added it to I added six. Cause he has so much leftover tracks. <clears throat> so let's go over the features. So we got Project Pat, ASAP Rocky, G O D, Denzel Curry, Wiz Khalifa, Ty Dolla Stines, Offset, Travis Scott, Tory Lanez, Belly, James Arthur, Nicki Minaj, a little baby, young thug, slim G Slim. I almost said Slim Jesus, Slim Jimmy, Kanye West, Cardi B, and MGK. I added MGK because MGK kind of, you know, sir, gave it to Eminem, man. I, I hate to say it, man. And I'm not on any teams. I'll never be on the team. Nobody's ever done anything for me, so why the fuck would I be on the team? But MGK got him, man. So, yeah, this is Juicy J. Um... Oh, this is almost what I forgot. Um, Juicy J's from Tennessee or Memphis. 
Uh, I believe Yo Gotti and Young Dolph are both from there, right? You know what? Let's save that for Yo Gotti. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Cause Juicy J, I mean, besides three three six mafia shit, I would have to look deeper into it. Juicy J is a fairly low key artist. He doesn't get to any controversies that that are known for the public. So I do I do want to I can't stress this enough. Juicy J is a legend, but there's just not much on him unless you take a deep dive. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of Juicy J. You like him, you hate him. Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, peace.